Hey guys, welcome back to Jordan Samuel Skin Talks and Self Care Sunday. Now today we are winter masking. Uh, I might do this mask though a lot throughout the year, but it's going to be most helpful in the dry, cold winter months. I say dry, and what I mean by dry is because yes, it can be wet and snowy and rainy outside. Is the dry indoor heating? Just to clarify. Um, Something I like doing though is layering masks. So I know we've talked about sort of the mini ecosystems and if you might be congested here and you want a little clay mask through the T-zone and then a hydrated mask everywhere else. For this, I like to do all over and layer. And uh, I think I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna use my two favorite masks. The Control Crow, I'll do this, so let's see. What am I supposed to do, like put my head behind it or put my hand, I don't know what I'm doing. Aha, you can sort of see it. That only took 25 minutes. Control Corrective Balancing Thermogel Mask. Love it because it's an unscented, fragrance-free, essential oil for free, for a hydrating gel mask. Plumping, hydrating, nourishing, not greasy, oily, waxy, not sticky. I'm not gonna do this on my face today, I'm just gonna do it on my hand so I can show you a little bit more detailed. Um, but you will take a layer, I'm gonna prep the other mask too, so. I'm not making like a, well, I'm obviously doing things incorrectly. Oh, bum, bum, bum. Imagine this is your beautiful face. So massage it on, not in. You don't want to have it penetrate. Et voila. And I like to let that sit for like a minute or so. Um, and then especially for winter skin, what I would recommend following up with, which is a cream mask. It doesn't have to be loaded with oils, but I just like a creamy mask. It could have a touch of clay, but if, it, if at all possible, avoid clay. Because what you're trying to do is really get that hydration in and then lock it in and get that moisturization in. And um, this is a really, I don't want to like oversell this, but it's totally, it's their moisturizing mask. What I like about it is it's really like... Don't expect bells and whistles and miracles, but it hydrates and it's easy to use and it's fairly affordable and it's no muss, it's no fuss, it's easy to find. It works really great with this layering trick. Um, and it keeps the skin soft and hydrated and nourished without overly nourishing it. So I really do like it. But, you know, use the correct amount. You can go to town with masks. You're gonna be removing them. So if you wanna use a lot, use a lot. Um, I'm just using this, obviously, to show you on my hand. And then you massage that creamy goodness over top that hydrating gel mask. And then let this sit for, because if you have chosen masks without drying clays or acids or enzymes, 30 minutes and just soak it in. Um, Remove gently with a warm wet washcloth. Something I like to do is actually splash with a little bit of water first, sort of loosen it up, remove as much as I can, and then just lightly go in with a washcloth so you're not going in and attacking it. Um, another favorite winter masking tip that I think you guys will love, it's part of, I do it all the time, and it's part of my Friday facials on Instagram, is uh, the After Show Treatment Cleanser. A good dollop size mixed with your perfect combination of either a toil with retinol or a toil and hydrate and it turns into don't use any water just let the hydrate and the oils mix in with the gel it turns into this yummy creamy mask so you have a little bit of fruit acids some nourishing oils some vitamins and antioxidants some hydrators same thing leave it on 20 30 minutes water to remove and then remove excess with a washcloth and your skin will look lovely for the holiday time Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week ahead and I will see you soon. Bye.